All right, here we go, guys. And we're whispering because we got people on that sailboat. Uh, my neighbor, my top neighbor, Airbees and Bees it, and it's rented out. We got Herb, Mr. G, Kirk, and Ernesto. Sun's just coming out. Windy day, Father's Day. Happy Father's Day, guys. Um, and we're going to stay in the bay and try for fluke. We'll see how we do. I'm going to release the lines. We'll let these people get back to sleep. And we'll, we'll get... We'll get going. We're not very confident about today. It's been a grind, but we want to just try to put a few fish on the box. That's all. See how we do. All right, here we go, guys. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right, here we go, guys. We don't have to whisper anymore. We're, we're, we're not at the boat at 5.30 or 5 o'clock, actually, dealing with people sleeping in the sailboat next door to mine. We're going to talk about today... A really interesting trip. Uh, you saw in the intro, we got Ernesto, we got G, we got Herb, we got Kirk, and we are dealing with a lot of wind, a very strong north-northwest wind, at times blowing over 20 miles an hour. You will undoubtedly hear it throughout the video. And the trolling motor here, very interesting, was used as a windsock. We are not using the trolling motor to slow down the drift. We are not using the trolling motor to fight through the wind and, uh, you know, speed up the drift. Instead, we're using it to stem the wind to allow us to drift naturally. And uh, we'll cut right to the first drop on a very interesting day. Like I said, very windy, but the fishing was so slow in the beginning, but we stuck it out and we wound up with a lot of keepers. Very surprising on a day like this. But again, we'll, we'll start at the first drop. It's still, the sun's not even out yet. And G accidentally doesn't even realize that we're, we're about to bring up G hooks into the first keeper of the day. You're on? Yeah, you are. Fluke? Yeah, that's a fluke. Need a net? No. All right. Hey, we don't even have sun yet. Tiny. Is that you? I think so. Oh, but you never know. This could be a double digit. With this new rod, you know? It's too fancy. Oh, you're using my rod. Whoa. Well, I'm feeling it, sure. Dude, okay, you sure? You want, want me to grab the net? No. Should I slack out? He's tangled up in me. That's, oh. a, that's a keeper, dude. <laughs> hey, your first keeper on my rod. Oh, and he inhaled it, dude. Nice. I think this is a keeper. I'd be shocked if it wasn't. And indeed, it was a keeper. You also heard G say that he used a, he, uh, he caught that fish using my rod. That's the VRC Jigging Jerks casting rod. Uh, it's a made in America using an American blank fluke rod that I've designed and worked on for two years with VRC, uh, a, a really great to work with rod company. They're big believers in making things in the U.S. Uh, I'll have a link in the description if anybody does want to buy the rod. Um, but this was going to be the only fish we caught without the trolling motor. You see the weather here. You see the seas are not really all that crazy yet. Well, it did not take long for that wind to pick up. And you'll see a shot here of the trolling motor down. And we're going to zoom in on it. And this is what I'm talking about when I say drift control. I am not concerned about slowing the drift down or speeding the drift up to match the tide it's quite the opposite we were getting hit broadside by a mostly north wind all i'm using that trolling motor for as you can see here it's pointing directly into the waves into the wind i am just finding that perfect speed on the trolling motor to prevent us from getting pushed in towards shore that wind is pushing us in towards shore i want to fish that ledge that I'm on, it's a 55 to 65 foot ledge. And as best I can, I want to stay on that ledge. A lot of other boats around us, they would start deeper than us. They would get pushed into shore and reset. We were able to fish the entire line that we wanted to fish. And I think that's why on this day, on a really tough day, we were able to catch a lot of fluke. There you go. Good? Oh, it's bouncing. Ah, oh, fluke? All right, where's the net? 
Oh, duh. We'll see. Let me get through her. No, that's a fluke, dude. That's a good one. Good job. I just can't tell what this ride. No, it's it's a good fluke. And it's circling. And a keeper. Oh. Oh. The net! The net! Alright! Oh my god, do you have a man bun? Yeah, put that hat on. <laughs> now, I've netted a lot of things in my lifetime, but never a fluke in a hat. And look at the slow motion. Yeah, uh, Ernesto goes to high five me and knocks his own cap off. I did not do that. Uh, a self inflicted cap removal. No, that's a fluke. I saw head shakes. Yeah, it was head shakes. That's a way to it. I see that. I'm waiting for her to drop back. <laughs> it would not surprise me. Yeah, it's a fluke. Dude, nice fluke. There we go. That's not, that's a no doubter. And what we did in picture here was the approximately three hours of downtime between the prior fluke that Ernesto caught and this fluke that Ernesto caught. We were close to making it a half day trip. Um, I gave the guys the option. They decided collectively, no, we're going to tough it out. And boy, oh boy, did this fish start a string of consecutive fish for these guys. And what really wound up being a day that I was joking we're going to burn the burn the hard disk here we're not going to ever show footage of this trip again you see the trolling motor as I'm bringing the fish up to the front pointing into the wind once the fish started chewing and we had that trolling motor helping us it was fish after fish after fish we got a fish on in the front whoa I keep stepping on that plano box is that a fluke or a sea robin weak fish maybe it's got weight right all right, nice and slow. Nice and slow. I think it's a fluke. Big one, some. Yeah, yeah, it is. It's a big one because it's doing the one big head shake. It's a big fish, dude. It's a big fluke, my man. Yep, I appreciate it. I don't have to repeat it. I hear the tension on the reel. Oh, dude, nice fish. It's in. Good job. Oh, you got somebody's line, too. And as soon as I did, the wind picked up. Are you on again? Good one? That's another fluke. Coming up, nice and smooth. Don't horse it. Feels good? Got lighter. I don't know about that, dude. It's got some good head shakes for a small fish. And again, closer. Right, right. You know, it's not straining. It's worth netting. I think it's, it's definitely a keeper. All day. You sure? You using my rod? Yeah. Where's the net? I'm just gonna have the net ready. Good bend in it, that's why. I'm not convinced this isn't good. Oh, is it a sea robin though? That shakes. Okay. There's not many. Oh, that's a keeper, dude. And the GoPro never does this justice, but take a look at this big center console speeding between us and another boat. And again, wide angle lens on the GoPro. You're not going to tell how close we are to that other boat, but this boat decides full throttle or cruising throttle to literally cut right between us. And as PO'd as I am, it must have brought us some good luck or maybe pushed the boat that those few inches I needed to hook into this fish. And look at this guy. Is he gonna cut between the two boats? Really, dude? That 
That is so stupid. Got one hanging. Ah. Yep. It's okay. Yeah, I'm gonna need the net, I think. No, the net. Ernie's got it. Yeah, this is a keeper for sure. It's got decent weight. I got so much money. My money's on Herb. Thank you, thank you. Go fish, go fish. I got it, I got it, I got it. Go fish. And thank you, Ernesto, for the net help there. That was on the VRC Jigging Jerks Tog Rod. It's a six foot light rod, really designed for tog jigging, blackfish jigging. But when I'm on a charter, it's nice to have that smaller rod, be able to use a one ounce bucktail as best I can, get away from the charter customers, cast out, reel in. And on this day, a, a few fluke fell to this technique. Great to see something a little different than what everyone else was doing. And hey, I'm going to be beating a dead horse here. Here we are again. We just reset on the drift after I caught that fish. See the trolling motor right behind Kirk or in front of Kirk. The point of the trolling motor is the direction that the propeller is pushing the boat towards. I got the remote in my hand and I am just trying to lock down the speed to keep us from getting pushed in towards shore by that wind and let us stay on our line and let the drift naturally take us east to west here. And that green down east boat was even with us. Here we are about 30 seconds later. You can see they're really close to shore. We are still on that outside line we want to fish. Yeah, you hear the drag? Uh, I think it's a keeper, but man, it took drag. Now it lightened up. It took two dra two runs. It lightened up now. What the hell? Got weight. Eagle. Yeah. I think the other one was bigger. Definitely a keeper. Shit, I did a bad job with that. Thank you. Go, 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 go. I'll get it, I'll get it. I got it, I got it. Thank you, thank you. Catching all your fish. Any good? I'm seeing a sea. Oh, I'm seeing a fluke. It's definitely a keeper. Come on. There we go. Good job, buddy. It's a fluke. I got the line in my mouth. I'm re rigging uh, Kirk's rod. Is he off the schneid? Ooh. Is that drag I hear? No, no. What are you talking about? Oh, Do you? Yeah, it is very drag. Is your is that tight enough? You want me to tighten it real quick? Yeah. You have it really loose. Okay, go, go. It's close. Could be. Could be. So up until this point, everyone on the boat has multiple keepers, except Herb. He is without a keeper. I'm going to have some fun with him when we go measure this fish. Mm. He's 
between and a quarter. No good, Herb, no good. Herb, no good. You're on the board. 19 and a quarter. I'm winning the boys. <laughs> And we reset after Herb's fish, trolling motor still, pointing north, combating that wind, and I'm going to catch a fish, and something's going to happen with a fluke that's never happened to me before. I'm going to lose the fish halfway up, and within a second of dropping it, line goes slack, clearly off. This is how you know they're feeding. He's not going to swim down to the surface. He's going to hit that bucktail again, and I'm going to catch him. Never happened to me before. Let me know in the comments if anything like that with a fluke has ever happened to you. Herb, we, 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 ooh, 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 ooh. Yeah, oh. No good? No. I have the net here if I need it, so don't worry. Just popped. Oh, it's still on. What? What the hell? Did it take it again? It popped. What is this? Maybe a, a weak fish? Dude, nice fluke. All the. Oh, dude. No, I got it. What the hell? Did anybody see that? How I it, it it came off and then it hit it again. That's a nice one. Mid water column. And we're gonna end the video with one last fluke by Kirk. And you're gonna see it the bite had slowed down at this point. We had that flurry of fish, couple of hours of non-stop bites, it slowed down. Kirk's gonna hook into that last fish. See me playing with the trolling motor here, trying to get the speed just right. And this is emblematic of when the fish start stop biting, not start biting, stop biting. They see the jig, they're annoyed by it. They hit it out of a reaction, but they're not hitting it to eat it. And what happens is we foul hook them, and that's what happens. Here with Kirk's Fish, again, it was going to be our last keeper. Thanks again to these guys. Fantastic trip. Great bunch of guys. Can't say enough good things. And a big thanks to my good friends at Minn Kota for really the, the, the word groundbreaking and revolutionary and game changer is overused. The word's not the word. But in this case, the fact that on a really windy day, you heard the wind throughout the video, it allowed us to drift the line I wanted to drift while every other boat was getting swept towards shore. That made the difference between the amount of keepers we caught this day and what we would have caught without the trolling motor. Hope you enjoyed this video as always. If you like these videos, hit that like button. And if you're not already a subscriber and you like content like this, please consider subscribing. Ooh! Coming with the net. If I can find the net, it's behind me. Yeah, Kirk. Oh, that's a good one, huh, Kirky? All right, nice and smooth. Kirky, we're hockey players. We add a Y to the end of everybody's name. We're gonna call you G. Yeah. Which is actually your name, dude. There's a big fish. Really? I just don't feel any head shakes. Right okay. Now. Well, sometimes the big fluke don't don't give you those uh, those vibrations. It's definitely a, a fluke. Oh, my line's on it. All right. You don't worry about that right now. Foul hook, big fluke. <laughs> That's why it felt like that. Whoa! <laughs> big fluke, foul hooked. Nice. Oh, this is high five. Whew. All right, your your line isn't bad. Let's just keep the tension there. Let's get let's get the fish off. Now, he's not too happy. 22, 23. Yeah, 23. 23.